How to use DaVinci AI for image generation. Hey everyone, and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to start, how to get started with DaVinci AI. So basically, you can try it for free, but is but it is a paid platform, so you can actually see the pricing for yourself if you click on pricing. I'm just going to show you the uh, actual pricing for it. So for the pricing, you get to choose whether you want to pay monthly or yearly, which is going to be uh, for the monthly, it was going to be $20 a month or $19.99. And the same goes for yearly, you, ha you have it to be $59.99. And you will have, you know, the 50 credits per day, uh, fast processing and unlimited access. But in your case, you can just go in and try it for free. You can just go to davinci.ai to get started and click on create an account for free and you'll be able to create your account and it's going to show you this page and you just want to uh, scroll down until you find want to try the limited edition click on continue now once you click on continue here you will have the uh, prompt section where, where you can just you know add the prompt and generate artwork for yourself uh, basically this is where you would want to create your artwork uh, by by you know adding some prompts and choosing the style model and ratio and the but at the bottom you will find also more artworks that you can actually explore see for yourself and uh, discover but this is not really our topic here we are just going to generate some images ourselves so let's just go in and get to it so the first thing is going to be adding a prompt now adding a prompt is going to be if you did not you know use ai as much the more details you go into, the better the results are going to be. The less details that you add, it may be just, you know, it's, it's just going to generate some weird stuff. Uh, you know, sometimes it's going to actually look great, but most of the time, uh, if you really want to, uh, to have a great image, you will need to add as much detail as possible. Now, in this case, you can just go in and start adding uh, the details that you want yourself, or you can even go through some chat GPT sort of thing where you can ask them for a better prompt that is going to really have as much detail as you want. But in my case, I'm not going to go for that. I'm just going to type in a few things. Uh, for example, um, let's try something weird. Uh, let's just do a fireplace in the middle of nowhere. So let's just go ahead for a uh, weird sort of style. And then here you will have the three different things that you could choose. The ratio is going to be one uh, by one for the uh, free version. You can't really you know, decide whether you want the other ones or not. You only have the square one. For model, you will have to, the option to select whether it's SDXL or DaVinci Ultra. You get to choose uh, either one of them. If you don't know the difference, you will need to try both and you will see the difference. Uh, and then we also have the style here. So you have, you know, the different styles that you can choose from so i'm just going to select uh okay so a lot of them are actually still behind a uh you know the payments so you will need to actually pay for them but i'll just use that one for the time being or no style let's just go for no style uh and then after that we can just go ahead and enter the prompt and click on generate and just give it a little bit of time and it's actually going to generate two different uh, three different images for us with that prompt so here we have this one and we also have a few others that are uh locked behind the pro one we can generate again if you don't like the um uh, the images that you actually see and you can actually see the fireplace and mind you you do have credits at the top right so uh, every time you generate it's going to actually cost one so now i have the last one here so let's just go and try something else. For example, uh, foggy uh, nature, lots of greenery. There you go. And just click on generate. It's going to generate something else for us. And it's going to cost one credit. Like so. And if you like an image, you can just go in and click on it and download it or save it. If you, if you save it, it's going to be saved to your account. You can always access it again. And if you download it, well, you'll be able to just download it. So this is all for this video. Hopefully you found it to be helpful and thanks for watching.